we'll show you how to use Service Level Agreements in Business Edition. A Service Level Agreement, or SLA, is an agreement between a customer and a service provider specifying the level of service to be provided. SLAs can be informal, for example, desired metrics of performance, or formal contracts, internal or external to an organization. In Business Edition, SLAs are records defining the amount of time that can pass before a task reaches a certain condition. SLAs keep the support team apprised of each incident's status relative to its due date and facilitate overall performance reporting. Each SLA applies to a particular table. Business Edition provides a set of SLAs for the incident table based on the default system priorities but you can modify these and create new ones. Let's look at an SLA to see how it works. The Priority 3 SLA operates on the incident table and is set up to resolve incidents within three business days. The clock runs on this SLA Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 o'clock, eight hours per day, and the SLA is triggered if an incident's condition matches the one defined here. When an incident triggers an SLA, the clock starts ticking, counting down the time and escalating at specific intervals to ensure that the incident gets resolved within the agreed upon period. According to this list, a Priority 3 incident that isn't resolved or closed after two days escalates to moderate, and after additional four hours, it escalates to high, and finally, after four more hours, three days total, it becomes overdue. But sometimes, circumstances prevent the support team from working on the incident, and that's where the pause conditions come in. The pause conditions for this SLA are based on the incident state. The clock pauses if the incident is waiting for a problem to be resolved, or a user to provide information, or if the incident has been resolved. So depending on conditions, a Priority 3 incident could take longer than three days to be resolved without breaching the SLA. When setting up your SLAs, if you plan to use the default system priorities, check each corresponding SLA to see if it meets your organization's needs. If not, change it or add new ones. We'll add another SLA to treat Priority 1 incidents of the network category differently than other Priority 1 incidents. But first, let's look at the default Priority 1 SLA. This says, Priority 1 incidents should be resolved within 8 hours on a 24 by 7 basis, no calendar. That's why there's no value in the calendar field. We'll copy this description to paste into our new SLA. As you see, the escalation intervals for a Priority 1 incident are much shorter than they were for Priority 3. Now, let's create a new Priority 1 SLA for network incidents. We'll call it Priority 1 Network. The table is correct, Incident. We could assign the order here, but it's better to do that in the list view, where we can see the order of other SLAs for reference. Here, we'll paste the text we copied earlier and modified for this SLA to resolve Priority 1 Network incidents in just four hours. We'll leave this blank for the clock to run 24-7. We want to trigger this SLA when priority is critical and when the category is network. The pause conditions are when state is one of these. After we save it, we can set the escalation intervals. We'll escalate it to moderate after two hours and to high after one more hour. and to overdue after an additional hour. That's four hours total. We update it, and here it is. Now, let's look at the order. All of these SLAs have the same order. That's okay if they all have different conditions, which most of them do. For example, the Priority 2 SLA operates on Priority 2 incidents, the Priority 3 SLA operates on Priority 3 incidents, and so on. But these two SLAs would both match the Priority 1 condition, 
So to prevent network incidents from being assigned the wrong SLA, we'll need to make sure the SLA with the network condition is evaluated first. And we do that by setting its order lower than the other SLA with a priority one condition. Setting the order to 50 leaves plenty of room for us to slip other SLAs into the evaluation order, either below or above this one, should the need arise. You can revise these values any time to change the SLA evaluation order. Though this example was specific to incidents, you can also apply SLAs to problems and other tasks. If you have additional questions, please visit our Business Edition Wiki or Knowledge Base or ask a question on the Business Edition community.